no, somebody help. As I screamed with a sweaty hand over my mouth, clothes yaked off, rough hands forcing my thighs apart. He forced himself on me. He left my body. It was a boy from next door. Then Ma said, people will judge you. Humula Wanaka. The victims of rape are afraid of not only their rapist but the community as well. The pain and the suffering still lacks in my mind as I dream at night. The years passed when I met a boy. I finally thought I found love until one day. He threw me against the wall and proceeded to pin me to the ground. He beat me again. I begged for my life. I became hopelessness, I became helplessness. And each time he hit me, he would get close and whisper, Bitch, I wish you were not alive. Mama Kiahua. She then said, Musadi ke ho la wana ka che joa lo di A woman must not air her dirty laundry. I kept silent. This veil of silence that woman I brought up under has left a lot of rooms for another evil practice to flourish. Today I'm saying this as I sit in heaven watching women bleed. He killed me. How many women must suffer? How many women must be slaughtered? How many women must die at the hands of men for the government to start acting? The nation is bleeding, blessings have been made that never maintain. Mothers of the nation are being eliminated by arms that are supposed to be their armies. They've been chased from places where they must get protection and feel safer. Gender-based violence is epidemic based on the silence of the victim, victimized by lover. The arm of your lover should be your happy place. Not a constant state of pain and panic. A mean walk at the park, romantic picnics, hugs, cuddle and kisses. Abusive relationships are worse than drugs and alcohol addictions. They affect everyone from mom, dad to children. A chaos passed down from generation to generation. We normalize violence, glorifying the how better our rat and nonsense. We need to stand up and stop the circle of abuse. I mean, pandemic comes and go, but it's never shake like Lesuka La Motero. This is a situation motion we need to change, a mindset that need to be destroyed. We must all live, love and enjoy a life with less tears and never bleed. Be a man, a leader of the family, never a monster or a boss.